Hello and welcome to Mellow Labs. Today's episode starts with me making a brand new cup of tea. You join me in my new tea making corner and I've just finished brewing a cup of tea and I have to dispose of my tea bag, which means I have to take it all the way to the bin, which is over there. Now, granted, this isn't really a problem with a single tea bag, but when you're cooking and you've got multiple things going on at the same time, the last thing you want to do is touch the dirty bin lid because like then you have to wash your hands again. So I need something that will automatically open up my bin so that I can chuck that away. It would be even better if I can open up the bin lid from over there so that I can like try slingshotting my tea bag into the bin. So that's what we're doing on today's episode. We're making a smart bin lid. Right, so I've got my tea and most importantly, I have the bin lid. And yes, it has been cleaned since being on the bin. I think in order for this to be accepted by my roommates, I need to give myself some design restrictions. And I came up with three. Number one, I need the bin lid to be easily removable. So like no, nothing to like stupidly detach at the back so that the bin lid can come off. No, everything must be on the bin lid. So I can just like take the bin lid off, take the bag out, put the new bag in, put that back and nothing is disturbed. Second of all, every so often we do need to wash this bin lid. So if whatever I'm using on it, electronics wise, it, can, it has to be like easily removable so that I can just take it off, put them on the side and then wash the bin lid, dry it, put it back on and it should work perfectly fine. And the third and final criteria is that I don't want it to interrupt the actual manual usage of the bin. So if we have a guest over and they wanna open the bin manually, that should be fine. That shouldn't interrupt anything. So I'm gonna go design stuff and I guess we'll see where it takes us. Right, I modeled the bin lid inside of Fusion 360 and I came up with this shape and I'm hoping that this will just go in here and the servo can like pick it up and then just drop it back down. For the servo, I'll literally be using the uh, the silly string shooter I made in the previous video uh, because it's already on Home Assistant and it's the beefy strong servo and the uh, the string shooter didn't actually perform very well. So uh, if you want to find out more about that, just watch one of my live streams. Uh, so yeah, I'll be disassembling this because it's already connected to Home Assistant and all that. I can just pop on the, uh, the movable thing for uh, the bin lid and I can test it out. So let me take this apart. Right, so I took off the 3D printed parts from this and I should be able to just put this little uh, arm on it and that should go on here. And when I plug this in, I should be able to control it through Home Assistant. Okay, so now, theoretically, if I move the servo, Hey, if you enjoy what I do on this channel, please consider supporting me over on Patreon so I can move out of this trash can. You get early access to my videos, work in progress updates, and like exclusive content, and like chat commands and stuff like that. So if that's something that interests you and you have a few extra quid a month, please consider supporting me. Everything goes back right into this channel so I can keep making cool content. Uh, that's it, bye. Okay, well that worked pretty well. No, oh, but the bin lid is stuck up. Okay, well, let's put that down. Wait, that's all the way down? The heck? Okay, so that's apparently all the way down. Let's change the position of that to be like down here. So let's say that's zero. Okay, so if I put the bin lid down and then I open it up again. Okay, well, it doesn't, it doesn't actually open up the bin lid fully, which is kind of a problem, but it does seem to work. Oh, and it does that. That's not good. Okay, well, two problems to address. First of all, I want it to actually open up at least like maybe there so I can chuck bigger stuff in at a time. And also, I don't want it to uh, to slip off of that. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and uh, figure out those two problems. A quick 3D print later and I have what I think is version two and hopefully that works better. So I've got the, uh, the little servo mount attachment that I can just put in here and I'm using that just as a as a good connection basis with the servo because it's you know molded specifically for the servo so that should give us a nice strong connection and then the servo will go here on the actual bin lid so that it moves with the bin lid 
and it should be able to just like push that up and it should be able to you know lift the lid like so and I'm, I'm, I'm gluing it down with hot glue for the time being just to you know see if it works the way I expect it to work uh, hot 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 I don't need a lot I just need enough to test with okay maybe maybe PLA is not the material for this maybe something a little bit more reinforced would be better but we'll get to that in the future right that's glued down that should be good let's see if we can try and open it that's pretty much perfect damn okay okay yeah so this the, the floppiness of this actually kind of hurts it a little bit but but it does work although it does it Additional feature it opens fully by itself so that you manually have to close it. That's that's a feature cool Let's close that and we should be able to open it up again So if we oh, Okay, yeah some kind of reinforced um, Plastic for this will be better But it does in fact work Sick, okay, so this is the design I'm going with awesome so now I need to find a way to like put the electronics on here and also I need to mount some kind of a, uh, a, a gesture recognition sensor thing. I'm probably just going to go with like IR or like uh, ultrasonic distance sensor just to like detect my hand and then that should be it. Okay and, and some kind of mounting solution so that I can take this off and put this back on. Okay well we, I know what I need to do. This will work so let's continue on this thought train. Okay, so I think I more or less finished the electronics for this. Uh, I still need to like design a case and all that, but I've got a uh, an IR distance sensor, which I accidentally triggered. Uh, and you see it opens the bin and then five seconds later, it closes the bin. It, it does do it a bit suddenly. I still might have to play around with like the servo timings, but for the most part, it works. It opens the bin and then it closes the bin. Perfect. I also found this really cool, let me show you. Okay, so I was wrecking my brain trying to figure out how to do that like quick release mounting thing for all the electronics. And then I found this. It's called the Delta Mount by this user. I'll leave a link in the description because it's awesome. And also they share the step files, which means I can modify this to whatever size it is. So this is the one that's actually like provided. So it, it, it's so cool. So it's two parts. It's got like prongs in that and it's got a little knob on here and it's got this cool little uh, cutout here. And then that just kind of slides in there and then you click it into place and then it, it's it's like solid like solid enough but it, it works really well and then when i need to i can just like pull it off and take it out so i'm going to be modifying this to like fit the shape and size that i need for my uh for my electronics and yeah i, I just love this this is so fun i'll leave this in the uh, description below because i i'm probably going to end up using this more and more so with that, I'm gonna go design a case on top of this and then, you know, I'll come back and we'll put back like I normally do. Okay, so I may or may not have stayed up till like 2 a.m. designing this box for the electronics. Uh, this is the failed one. Surprisingly, it only took me like one failed test print to uh, figure out where I went wrong. Uh, and then I printed this one, which hopefully is, is exactly what I need to have all the electronics in it. I've not tested it yet, so let's put the electronics in and see where I screwed up. With that assembled, we should be on like the final-ish step of just mounting this here. Uh, and I will of course be doing that with uh, hot glue. The, the wire's not in the way. That's the bend radius of the wire, that's fine. Okie dokie, let's glue it down. Oh 
hopefully it's in the right spot. Let's do a quick test of my criteria. The bin opens up manually, no problem. We can take the lid off, perfectly fine. And the um, and this should be coming off as well, like so. Oh, that's so good. Just clicks off, I can wash the bin lid. I can move that if I need to. I can put that back on, perfectly fine. Awesome, let's go install this in the kitchen. Okay, so I was hoping that this would be the, um, the end of this project, but unfortunately, it does that. So it turns out the window behind me lets in the, uh, the sun, which is kind of a problem when you're using an, uh, an IR distance sensor, because it will just keep uh, blasting the, uh, the sensor so that it opens and closes, which is kind of useful like in this moment. But for the majority of the time, kind of annoying. So um, I'm gonna go and probably switch this design to use a um, an ultrasonic distance sensor instead of the IR one. I'm hoping I still have trash. Cool. Let's fix that. Okay, so it's been a few hours. I may have gotten distracted with a movie. It doesn't matter. It's fixed. I replaced the IR distance sensor with this uh, ultrasonic distance sensor and I changed a bunch of things in the code. I'm going to show you them after I mount this on the bin. So uh, I've printed out a new, uh, a new, a new body case thing so that it can fit the ultrasonic distance sensor. So I'm going to put this on, pop it on the bin, shush, and uh, show you how it works. Here we go, moment of truth. Everything's wired up. I should be able to just pop this on and currently it's not doing anything because I added a ignore sensor um, switch to Home Assistant so that when we're doing like maintenance, taking it on and off, we don't have to deal with it like it going crazy. So now I can turn off the sensor ignore thing and I've set it to 21 um, centimeters to trigger it, which is I guess maybe there. And the best thing is I can actually change that. So if I want to change it to like nine uh, centimeters, which is about, uh, it updates real quickly. So nine centimeters, which is about there-ish. So I can update that live as, as I'm like dialing in the settings. So that's cool. I have a keep open one, so I can just leave it open. So that's good. So I think the sweet spot for this is around 29 centimeters, which is around, I think here, like so. So that's really nice. It's super fast. It works. Uh, I can change that whenever I want to. I can, I can keep it open. I can ignore the sensor. It even shows me like the readout for like how far away I am with the thing on Home Assistant. It's at the bottom here. So that's cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with this. I, I, I do need to do something around about this wire because uh, currently where it bends it here, it, uh, it, it slightly breaks it and uh, it disconnects it. So that's not fun, but again, details, I can figure that out. But yeah, it works. And yeah, so I, I recommend, I recommend the ultrasonic distance sensor that works much better than the uh, thingy. And now I can do like ignore sensor. So that doesn't do anything. I can take it off. I can clean the bin lid. I can put it back on. I can tell not to ignore the sensor and it works again. Oh, it's so good. It's just so good. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, all the links to this stuff is down below the like and subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it if you hit both of those. And if you have some spare change, please support me on Patreon. And uh, I'll see you on next week's live stream. I can't, I'm gonna have to like, oh God, how do I disappear here? See ya.